Hey there, everybody. We are live coming to you from literally all around the globe. I mean, seriously, we couldn't have done a better job. <laughs> um, how you, How's everybody doing? Good. Good. Woo, woo, woo. Good. Right. <laughs> we prepared. Yeah. First of all, I want to make sure that everyone out there can hear us. So if you cannot hear something, please let us know. I'm sure you will. Um, Fabio, how you doing, man? It sounds good. I just listened to a little bit of the playback on, uh, okay. And it seems like everything is fine. I don't know. We will have to see, you know, how these things go. Yeah. Uh, we, we find <laughs> out about mistakes and problems 15 minutes in, in the stream. But anyway, I'm great, James. The you know I was telling Jason Jimmy. Jason James yeah <laughs> you you'll get confused by this <laughs> we, can, we can also call yeah. him Johnny um, <laughs> yeah I'm doing great how are you are you excited about tonight's show yeah very excited I see there's a, a lot of people hanging out to watch it which is amazing um, I feel I really happy about that and also we have like a completely full house here today because. Uh, it's the most people I think we've had in one of these uh, hanging out. So I'm, that's also going to be cool. It's going to change a little bit how we do the judging because uh, Fabio and I will sit out this time and be act more as hosts so that we don't go for five hours, you know, talking about the images. Um, but otherwise, it's going to be some It's going to be fun. We will be the ones in people in line telling you, you got two more seconds. <laughs> Dropping the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you're muted yes yeah, so, all right yeah. so Go jason Fabio. should we use the 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 competition explain people from home what it is that the artists were asked to do you go for it all right so the theme for this challenge was digital favelas we gave uh to the public models made by Anders is, is with us. Anderson, what's going on, man? Thanks a lot for doing this. Thanks a lot for supporting us. And thanks a lot for bringing all these Brazilian artists to, to watch the show. It's, it's amazing. Oh, thank you for, for inviting me to, to do this. Okay, for me, it's my first time on Jujin Live, you know, just uh, giving comments. So thank you. Thank you nice to have you here and so we asked people to do to make an image using the models that you have provided and the yep. intent of this competition was to make a basic 3d image this competition is uh, divided in two phases the second phase the winners will be the work of the winners will be selected to then do the second phase of this challenge which will have to do with matte painting, but we will talk a little bit about this later. This is a collaboration between us and the guys from matte painting. Conrad is here. Conrad, what's going on, man? Uh, not much. I uh, <clears throat> It's like 6 a.m. for me, so <laughs> I'm still sort of, my brain's just sort of shifting <laughs> to gear. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a, it's been a fun, a fun month. I mean, I think a, a lot of, um, a lot of the activity happened right at the end as, as is normal. Uh, and, and we just saw like updates, updates, updates. And uh, I haven't even had a, a, a proper chance to look at the, uh, at the 10 that I selected. Um, I just was like looking through them I'm like, okay, cool. Live stream. Here we come. <laughs> That's how we like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, probably different than any judging that takes place in the, in, in the, um like more probably more let's say long form comp competitions and things like that but i think you still I, I think it's good because you you kind of react to with your base like instinct about the about the things that you see um you don't have time to like second guess yourself or anything like that which i think is is also interesting in the way that we do this so jimmy let me ask you you also work with the guys from matte paint right <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, was invited. <clears throat> I've done quite a bit 
it with uh, Conrad, luckily. Um, and yeah, so uh, I think I picked my entries pretty quickly as well. <laughs> I think I might have been the first to, to get them in. Um, uh, and, and usually I try to have a rule. I try to not look at any uh, in progress stuff. So I try to only look when people are done. So uh, or or to a final spot. So uh, it's just my thing. I don't want to kind of have any kind of preconceived notion of where something might go or uh, I, I just don't want anything in my head. So I think it's like the architecture and, you know, teaching side of me and, you know, things can go so many different directions at the last minute. So I try to not look. <laughs> so yeah, Next but it was exciting. Week. Lots of good stuff. Um, we're very happy to have you tonight with us. It's the first time that you're judging a competition with us. We promise you it's going to be fun. <laughs> I, I'm sure it'll be good. They're always they're always fun. So I trust Conrad. So you know. next with us <laughs> we have Lisa de la Dora. Lisa, she's the art director for the Madi course in Italy, very famous uh, architecture visualization course run by the uh, University of Venice. Lisa, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Fabio, ciao, everybody. Thanks a lot for inviting me. I'm very excited. I've seen the entries. It was not that easy to pick the top 10, but uh, I'm curious where we are heading tonight. And then we also have <laughs> Light Farm with us. I, <laughs> we still yeah, have Milton. Milton, is, uh, Milton, <clears throat> Milton was like, you know, hanging out by the ocean so i don't know maybe he decided he just didn't have time for this <laughs> no maybe it's more maybe interesting struggling with it. like uh, the connection yeah but he, so i he hopefully some, he had some people come up, so he might have to jump in like we told him to do so i don't know yeah exactly that, oh now he's got six foot minimum distance <laughs> yeah he, um, so he, i can he, i can introduce milton a little yeah, bit please if, if, if you want yeah so milton is uh he's a brazilian guy worked at uh, light farm as one of the directors uh, light farm are one of the most incredible uh marketing agencies i guess you'd call them um uh, and uh here he comes he's coming back <laughs> uh, and then he he started uh unhide school which is a, a school for teaching you know there he is what up bitches <laughs> <laughs> Right in. <laughs> I was in the call the whole time. I was I was hearing you Milton, guys, but my your sideways my screen got black. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Better now. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, I was in the meeting the whole time. I I, I hear you guys yeah. and uh, welcome you all to the digital digital favelas contest. And uh, I'll be helping judging. I'm calling from Brazil. I'm in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and that's why my signal is very poor, but I, I'm here. It's good to have you with us, Milton. Yeah, very good. Jason, Jason, yeah. what do you think we start the slideshow of all the images that were submitted? And then... Yeah, I I'll do that at first. I just want to make a quick shout out to our sponsors. Um, one very of those good. sponsors... Uh, who sponsored prizes. Um, one of those sponsors, uh, he, I mean, they're sitting right here with us. It's Matt, mattpaint.com. Um, I'm going to flash up a logo screen. Um, uh, Cine, Sinai, what was it? I always get it wrong. It's Sinai. Simon. So Sinai Software uh, has offered prizes again. I will CG never Architect. forget it. Nigel uh, said to me, how do you say my name? <laughs> Nigel or Nigel? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always forget, though. It's really stupid. Um, and also, uh, there are some exciting, something else exciting is some model packs from Big, Medium, Small, uh, which was also from the Matt Pink guys organized. So uh, we, that's a really great addition to this. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to shout out for those uh, to those uh, sponsors for uh, providing prizes for today's uh, challenge, which is uh, always fantastic. But it's not nearly as good as the pride of having of being the first place winner right you know so um yeah so anyway yeah let me i'm gonna throw up the slideshow real quick of all this is gonna be a slideshow of all the images that were submitted so hold on just a second i'll get that going we can continue talking um no problem yes. so 
Uh, what are the prizes? I, I was wondering. I can read them out. Uh, so first place is a 12 month subscription to Math Paint as well as uh, CG Architect. And there's a 3D pack from Big Medium Small. Uh, and just for a bit more context, Big Medium Small is a company started by uh, Jama Durbev, who is a concept artist titan uh, in, in film. Uh, so if you check out their website, uh, just search it up on online, you'll see some of the artwork that they've created for these packs is just insane. Uh, the last thing for the first place winners is the Sina Software one one year all access subscription. Um, <clears throat> if you want, if you want more details for the second and third place, I'll paste it in the comments uh, of the live stream uh, because the second and third place is basically the same thing, but just a little bit shorter subscriptions and uh, you know a little bit uh, uh, less, I guess, than than the first place. Yeah, and I'll I'll get that. I'll actually I didn't get that in the description, but I'll I'll that'll be down in the description as well uh, of this video. So, um, cool. Yeah, there's some great images. We're I'm though they're go we're scrolling through all of them right now, and uh, I can't wait to get started talking about these. So the the rule for this challenge, the main rule was for the artists to have to use the 3D models that Ander gave us so that, you know, we could tell that this was an image that was created specifically for the challenge. Yeah. Other than that. Ah, recorda sal, varista com ela onde for. Chorando será, ao lembrar de um amor que um dia não soube cuidar. Like elevated music. Was, <laughs> uh, people were complaining because I, did, Fabio didn't sing the theme yeah. song today. Yes, I <laughs> saw that. <laughs> yeah, are you happy now? Damn it! Are you happy now, people? You see what you, you did for the, for the. You're not entertained. <laughs> I give you what you want always. <laughs> so I believe we are. Yeah, we've gotten to the All end right. of that. So this is where we can we can land in hot water because it's going to be way too difficult to to truly tell whether the models were used in many of these. I don't I, I thought maybe Anza and yeah. we'll know, I think yeah. Yeah. I uh I I think th it seemed like they were used. I think um, I think they were used. Yeah. 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 We'll just uh, say they were modified versions if, if we don't see one, right? Yeah. <laughs> they were heavily and, modified. Heavily modified. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it looks like we lost... Oh, so there's Milton's going in and out, but that's fine. He, he's back. We see you now, so... Um, I'm, ch I'm testing the buttons here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I don't know why I can turn my screen like this. Uh, is it, oh, okay, is it okay now? Okay, yep. finally. Okay, so now I don't have to hold the phone anymore. Cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Ah, perfect. I see what you're saying. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah. So, Jason, should let's... we show the images that were selected for the um, as the best ones, and then? Yeah. When we're done, explain the rules to the judges because that's the exciting thing about this contest. Is well, I'm that... just going to put them up. Uh, I'll put up the gallery of them. I'm not, I, I think we, we're going to go through each one anyway, and we just saw all of them. So I'll put this up here, and I'm going to show you guys the screen. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen with all of you. All right. This is the easiest way to do it. That way we can all be on the same page. Also, let me know, Jason, what do you think about the touch? You know, me holding a Wacom pen that I actually never use just to look like. I I think that it's uh, very professional. <laughs> I'm a good artist. <laughs> you've, got, you've, got to, you've got to do, you've got to put it in your, you know, in your teeth, like you're, yeah. like you're thinking. You just <laughs> thought it in your teeth just to type something and then you pick it back out of your teeth. And then I go like... <clears throat> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so anyway, can you all see my screen now? Yep. Yep. So we've got, uh, yeah, the, the top, there were 20 images. Um, so basically what we did was, uh, as usual, every uh, judge and Fabio and I picked uh, what we considered that would be the top 10 images out of the submitted images. Um, then we collate those together. And from that, we get these top 20 images, which is where we're going to start. Uh, we're going to go through each image and, and have a quick, you know, talk about each image and, and go through them a little bit. Then so that's when it's going to get fun because um, we're going to go back through. We're going to look again like this uh, with the, with all the images visible. We're going to go through and we're going to basically do a quick vocal vote on whether it should be if whether it could be in the top 10 or not and uh if they if there's where today fabio and i are not going to be a part of this we're going to be hosting so if it's two against two then it stays if it's three to one a no then it's out um we're going to do it like that until we narrow it down to 10. should we wait until we get mm -hmm. to 10 to, to explain the rest <laughs> i think we sense. i know wait i missed something yeah didn't no I? you missed something yeah <laughs> Okay, that's right. To um, make it a little yeah. <laughs> a little spicier during this first elimination, uh, each of the four judges will get a veto. So you can you have one veto. If someone picks an image which you think should be in the top ten, you can say you veto it. Their their choice uh, or the choice that this image goes out. Uh, and it will it will then make it to the top ten for sure. Okay. You get that one time though. All right. Um, then when we get to the top ten, uh, it continues on from there. Uh, at with the top ten, then each judge goes through and picks an image which they say could not be uh, should be removed unilaterally. Okay. <laughs> this is how it is. And then when we get to the top five. Um, we will actually do a vote on what's the what's number one through five for each person. And Fabio and I will join in on this, and we will also record our votes as well, what's number one through number five. And then that will determine the winner by points. So the lowest points is number one, and then and so on. So there is also a time cap for each image that you know we're going to discuss, which is two minutes. It sounds like very little time and probably is, but the thing is that I guarantee you we're going to go over time and we're going to talk way longer than that. Our job is to tell you guys that the time is over and that we need to move on. So those watching from home don't think that we don't care about your work. It's just that we have to do certain things to keep things moving. And I say this because we often get criticized for that. It's just that, you know, we cannot have a seven hours art showdown. It's, we, it's could. Simply, we could. We <laughs> could. It's good and I for think the views. There would be maybe nobody watching at the end, but. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, and I also want to also want to point out that um, we are we are probably going to be a little silly sometimes and we're, we're here to have fun. Um, but that doesn't discount from any of these images that are here. Uh, these are the top 20 images from this, in this challenge. They're all amazing. Um, if it gets, one of yours gets knocked out, we're sorry, but you know, this is, uh, this is the way that we, um, uh, have decided to do the judging. Um, and I think it's, uh, I was saying early to everyone that, um, it, this way of doing it, you really get to uh, act on your first instincts. So when you see an image and you, you really act on those first instincts when you see it about how you feel about it. Um, so I want to say to everybody who's made it into the top 20, it's amazing. You made it to the top 20. So uh, well done. Good, good luck to everyone. So should we get All started? Right, judges. Yes. You can only have one Highlander. <laughs> exactly uh, another thing Our that's another thing sorry real quick that's different this time is that we uh, usually when we do the our challenges on the d2 we have people put their their whole name inside uh you know when they in their image uh name of their image uh, but this time we're using the usernames from uh matt the matt paint uh website so 
Um, we're just going to say it's they're they're all listed there. Uh, the the names of the images are listed from the uh, username. So um, if you're out there watching right now, you can say, "Hey, that's mine." You could lie, I guess. I don't know if that. I don't know why you would do that, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, if you, if you if you got your image and you don't have your name there, just tell us. Uh, shout out uh, that it's yours. So this one is from a thousand you, words. You can lie. What counts is the N NFTs. So. Jamin, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hold on. Somebody said Lisa's not on the screen, and there is they something. They can't see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's because I... we're too many. Maybe, maybe I'll close my camera. Yeah, but um, I think okay. they can no. survive. You still see my picture. <laughs> now, hold on. I'll just, I'll just scroll down one, and then I'm out. I'm off. I think. Or wait. Okay. Can I, Okay. Can everyone see Lisa now? Now they feel better. No, sorry yeah, about that. I didn't like realize. Huh? Yeah, I think it's updated now. It's all good now. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Let me ask you something. Uh, there's some rule that, you know, like a, a percentage of must to be in 3D or you, uh, decomposing with photos, it's, it's free to use. They, they, they can do photo bashing if they, ple if they please, but they need to use your 3D models. Okay, that's it. You know, they can render the 3D models and then photo bashing them. That's also fine. Uh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Just know. Jamin, are you ready? My hand is on the clock. Yeah. So... This one is awesome. <laughs> Looks great. All right. So we started. <laughs> Go perfect. for it, Milton. <clears throat> you guys all hesitating. <laughs> Go for it. I'm Go just... for it. I'm just amused. It's a beautiful image. Uh, looking from the thumbnails, I was kind of picking my favorites, but looking this one in full screen, it's pretty amazing, man. Um, the photographic elements, uh, the balance between the soft clouds with the noisy slums. You guys can tell me if he or she used the 3D models, but I love the photo comping here, the lighting scenes, uh, both surreal, but also realistic. Uh, and Rio really has some pretty colorful sunsets that look fake. You look at it and you're like, no way. Like this is like too much saturation, <laughs> but it's real, you know? So I think it's beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I saw this image and immediately thought that like, I just love the feeling of being right at the top of Rosinha. <clears throat> and it really does speak to that, that feeling of standing at the very top of that ridge line and looking back across towards Rio. And when I saw this, I was like, it's, it's obviously one of my picks. I actually love the composition. The, the only thing um, I'm not excited about, and then I'm going to start pitching around, it's the, um, the balance of the light. Um, so I, I think that the artificial light, it's a bit coming out a bit too strong and that's taking a bit out the magic of this image. I think it's amazing. I love the composition. I love the volumetric clouds. It's, I don't know if it's 3D or not. Anyway, they're working super good. I just think that the natural light is so cool and how it's affecting the, the, this person and is touching the, the silhouette, but then the, the artificial light is a bit too strong in my opinion and it's a bit distracting but overall it's a it's a very cool picture guys we're yeah. over time we're what, over what time. i like it what i like it most is it's the i don't know if it was uh but the 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 connection between the the person you know uh, he stands in the open arms like the redentor I don't know how to say Redentor. Is Christo Redentor in English? Christ uh, the Redeemer. Redeemer. Okay. Oh, yes. The, yeah. Christ the Redeemer. And so the Redeemer is, you know, there's a connection like he, uh, yeah. he's looking to him. And, you know, I like this connection. Guys, we got to move forward. Sorry. We're one minute over time. Jason. Okay. If I, if I have to say just one thing I don't like. Uh, his right arm is kind of uh, <laughs> blending with that mountain there, and uh, it doesn't help the silhouette. Uh, looking from my phone, at least, 
I think if it adds some atmosphere, a little bit of curves on the background there, it's going to help a lot with the overall silhouette. That's all. Sorry. So Five hours. Here we come. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> like, okay, we're f four and a half minutes in. <laughs> all right, let's go. It's okay. go. Let's go. <laughs> That's all right. Anybody that want to awesome. jump in on this one? Um, I think this is really a really nice photographic uh, composure, but I, I didn't really find it to be all that interesting in terms of the, the rest of it. I'm like, it looks like a photo, like it could be a photo, but I'm like, eh, I kind of see it and I move on. <clears throat> I don't know, it kind of what? sticks to me. I, I like the, we, we will not <laughs> agree on one of those, I guess. But no, I, I, I like I like it because it's photographic. And I mean, I don't know, I see a lot of kids in these photos, probably it's your fault on that because they really got inspired by your image. But uh, I, I, I like it, I like it. Yeah, I, I like it, this one. Uh, it, it was on one that I picked it before because I liked the contrast between the, you know, the, the background and the silhouette. And I, I like it. Only thing I don't know, because it's the model, the 3D model, it's only, you know, the silhouette part and behind on the background, it's, it's a photo, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's not True. 3D on the, the, the favela. I was going it to feels, say something similar, yeah. It, it, it was sticking to the rules, though. <laughs> it's like, you can totally <laughs> tell that this is the wall of your house. Under. <laughs> Might be someone Italian. Yeah, think... He knows to go around the rules, uh, you know. Guys, 20 seconds. So this one, sorry, this one was also, the, the username on this was uh, Alan Designer 3 d Just wanted to point mm -hmm. that out. Mm. I just want to say that this one was the most distinguishable one that I've seen from the overall, you know, from the thumbnails. This was one that I could understand even looking from afar. So it kind of grabs me to adjust my contrast and try to understand what's happening in the background. And maybe for you guys from the like Canada and stuff, like that's not relatable. But for us uh, Brazilians and maybe Italians even, uh, having a situation like that, like a poor kid waking up and seeing a beautiful view, but from the favelas, kind of that contrast between beauty and completely poorness, you know, uh, um, that that's very strong and, and powerful. And and the way that he used the silhouette of the building to frame it, it, it was kind of clever, although I understand that he didn't, you know, use that much of the model, but it's a really striking idea, at least for me. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, I, I I know I said I wasn't gonna say anything, but Jason, come on! I'm kidding. Six I'm kidding. hours here we come. <laughs> Playing in the same team. <laughs> <laughs> just just a little joke, okay? Just a little uh, jury jury humor. All right, I'll give you the joke. <laughs> just say it. Okay. Next one up is from Andy. Uh, I, let me put my glasses on. Chanico. Andy Chanico. I have to say I didn't pick this one. I don't know, maybe because I've yeah, seen I this photo with the girl hanging the hand yeah, this is like... too many times. And I, I don't know. It wasn't that this is like much the attractive. This is, like the, this is like the Instagram yeah. post. Yeah. 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 Like, that's the first thing I thought of. It's like, I'm not, I, I, it was very hard. I didn't, I, again, I agree. I did not pick this image, uh, partly because you know, if you're on Instagram, you've seen this image 5,000 times, like by everybody. And it was just kind yeah. of, yeah, it took, it took away from me a little bit. I was a little bit disappointed. Can I say something in favor of no. this image? I think, I think probably this was done on purpose, meaning, you know, like the actual cliche of people going on holiday and taking a picture and doing it in the settings of the favelas, which creates exactly. this contrast between like, you mm. know, people going and enjoying something in a, in a poor place, maybe also like being disrespectful also a little bit of the place, you know, because That's it's like, you. you know, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I, 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 guess, I guess from an art, you know, like I, I'm an architect, like train, you know, uh, that's what, what I am. And I got, and 
I, I completely could see value in doing that, then I would just argue then kind of like push it a little bit more. Like, mm. I mean, if you're going to kind of do, if you're going to do this and you're going to kind of take it to that level of like, okay, like, you know, this, this image that we normally see on Instagram all the time is in these like really surreal, beautiful, it, it's almost it could be faked places. And then you're going <clears> to <throat> twist it and flip it on me like this. Then like, somehow I want it to even be worse. Like, I don't know, like there's like a murder in the background or I have no idea what it is, but like, it's just, it's even more intense. It's even, yeah. it's, it's, if you're going to hit me over the head and you're, I, I think this is something that like, you know, architects deal with, you know, all the time. If you're going to have that kind of play or that satire, then like, then, then do it and do it for reals. Like, don't kind of one like... Th one thing that I think it's, it's necessary to say that j just tr translating what is right on the wall, it's more love, please. Mm. Just, mm. Just, to, just so you to know if, if there's something in conclusion of, you know? My, my problem with, with it is that I actually feel like we're in the Mediterranean or like Tuscany or mm. Greece and yeah. because so much of it is is very similar to that and then because of that romantic cliche added in the foreground I I think of those areas before I think of Brazil um because the the architecture is not as 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 claustrophobic as being in the favelas usually feels like especially down these little back alleys it's, it feels too <laughs> It feels actually spacious. This feels like a ritzy part of the the area. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing that really speaks mm -hmm. favelas is you know you've got the big mountain above the top, you know, poking out at the top, which is only recognizable if you you know if you know the area. And then all of the the electrical wires because that that's something that would just be everywhere. Um, but it just feels too romantic and too clean and too not clean but tidy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Guys, I apologize. We gotta move forward. We're four minutes in already. Oops. There you go. Who wants to go? This is from the username is AP Rendering. Love it. Love it. It feels super cyberpunk. Uh, I, it's actually one of the directions I was hoping people would go in um, <clears throat> because we didn't specify that it had to be, you know, favela Brazil looking. Uh, we just had, you just had to use the, the models, right. Um, and, and, and get inspired by, by the favelas. And I feel like this has done that with all the blocky uh, square shapes, just sort of just scattered around in the, in the image. Uh, and I think the, the atmosphere in this and the, the depth is really cool. And then it just sort of draws your eye down the line. Yeah. I picked this one too. I agree with you, Conrad. I think uh, yeah, maybe it was coming off of, you know, the, our cyberpunk challenge <laughs> for map paint, but uh, yeah, I really liked uh, the direction this went and just in general, like what I think something that I was looking for most in any of the images was pushing it outside of the normal favela kind of Brazil uh, take on things. I, I I know that that was you know part of the challenge, but I wanted to see that go to a different world. What conceptually, what could that be? And and was looking for something that was you know coming from architecture. I kind of wanted to see stuff that wasn't architectural visualization. Yeah, for me, for me, I like it this one very much because the you know the atmosphere the lighting the colors and specifically about the originality because uh, it, it, like you said it's it's different way to tell uh, favela it's more like a digital favela or another word or like in the future i don't yeah. know yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's kind of uh, a different idea and i like it i like it uh, i like it a lot it's favelas with leds man just yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it just became so cheap and people thought oh that's better than standard light bulbs and let's put <laughs> leds everywhere and then the favelas became really like futuristic looking but it's just leds <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, two and a half minutes. We got to move forward. So this one is username Dario Peanut, which is basically I don't know this guy, but the guy's name. I hate it. <laughs> Dario, what's up? What's going on, Dario? So All anybody right, want to jump in? I just have to say we don't we don't do that. <laughs> we don't have those yeah. silent balloons. <laughs> but I no no worries. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't pick this one actually because um, for me the color are a bit, a tiny bit off, and also the the depth of the image it's a bit a bit weird. I mean, I I, I didn't buy this image, so this was not one of my pick. Like those skyscraper in the background, uh, the depth of it it's a bit confusing. So they take away a lot to, from the image from my point of view. Uh, I, I like the idea, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, think I, what... I don't think I don't think the lighting are are matching. You know, the sky with the the sun mm -hmm. uh, back in and the sun on the the buildings over there, and it's a little flat. So at the composition, I don't know if the you know it's it's too low. The the the, the children are too low in the composition. It's not a focus. Uh, I I didn't. I didn't buy two, but but the idea it's it's it's, it's nice, yeah, it's good. But I yeah, don't know. It's another the, the work issue with the the other issue with the with the composition is it's so symmetrical. You've got buildings on either side. You've got the children. You've got two children who are in the very center, and then the, you've got the mountains that separate towards the center. And I feel like even if you just move the camera to the left and angle mm -hmm. it to the right. It would have it would have completely changed the dynamic of the of the shot and you just sort of see this and um and then you have these wires that come across and and the scattering of the lan lanterns and sure that they're, they're meant to break up the symmetry but it's really actually quite difficult to do in in practice and make it still look interesting um mm. and then like i mean on on a more technical note you've got these wires that are that are actually meeting the tangents of the clouds so so you've got these tangents that are like like touching each other and and like one of the lanterns looks like it's actually hanging from the 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 wire um so there's like i mean th those are a little bit more specific but i think as a whole subconsciously you see the image and you just go kind of nah, uh just based on the composition and, and i'm not sure if the scale of the children are correctly you know the scale of, looks like a yeah. is smaller than the yeah. Yeah. guys yeah, we're over small. three minutes sorry <laughs> j man I, I agree I, i'm only gonna say i agree with everything <laughs> that's, a, that's a good strategy <laughs> <laughs> uh milt on the highway <laughs> so, all right let's go this one is halo christo the, i the like username. it it's it's it has a super strong contrast uh, some of the things um like the the light that it's touching the the mountain behind it's maybe a bit too strong like that white line but apart from that and that's a bit catching my eyes right now but i, I like the the dynamic that is going on in the front and i think it, there's a lot of stuff going on, but still, uh, I think my focus is pretty clear. So uh, I actually like the composition on this image. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, love I, this one. I think you got Jimmy. This image is good. I mean, the only thing that I would potentially, I mean, me, um, my eye has a hard time between going to the power lines in the foreground and the kids playing soccer. So I, I, I don't think you would miss anything by. Uh, ditching those power lines in the foreground. Uh, it, it looks like it's probably a matte painted element in, not 3D. So um, it, I don't think it would hurt to lose that. And then my eye would go to the the kids. That's the only but only comment. They're I a bit have. too tight as well. They kind of look like bars rather than wires because they're just so taut. Um, yeah. I, I I also I love I love this image. I I love the. It, it still feels it still feels peaceful even though because you've got this group of three people just uh or kids just sort of chilling out but then you have this action shot of the kid getting a getting a selfie uh kicking the ball and um 
and I just feel like I also I I really want this to 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 rank highly because it's one of the rare images that could really uh, be quite dynamic and interesting to see in the in the next phase of the competition because you've got this huge background that can just be lifted out, bring the the CG, and you could do anything with that background. I have to say I kind of disagree this time because. Uh, although I, I like the, the image, a very striking composition, there's a big problem with the mountain back there. It should be way darker, I think, just kind of similar to somewhere in between with a foreground one. But that's like, you know, details and stuff, but it's really grabbing my eyes and I think Lisa's as well. Um, but other than that, I, I, I was just missing the digital thing, right? Because this is really realistic. Like I see it as almost like a uh, um, romantic composition from the real thing. But you guys tell me, like, where is the digital in there? I guess my interpretation of the digital part was more that it was going to be favelas, but made in 3D. So that the 3D side was the digital. Um, but rather that the brief wasn't that it had to be like, you know, it's fu futurized or, or anything, but yeah, I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Maybe we didn't explain that well enough. Yeah, I, the yeah, I, 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 I don't think it really occurred to us. We're like, over digital three favelas. Minutes. The, We're digital, over three I, minutes. the digital part was the fact that we were getting the 3d models to, to do it in 3d basically. Oh, so they're using the 3d models there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so that's, yeah. I understand. I understand a little better now. Yeah. I do agree with the mountains in the it, background, though. Like, yeah, yeah, the mountains in the background. Are, I just want to point out. I, I, don't, I don't think the, you know, the. Let me, let me give a zoom here. <laughs> I, I hate my because, life. Yeah, when, when, when I see the whole, <laughs> the whole picture, I like it. But in the details, I don't know, you know, just it's not matching too much, you know, like the the people there I, I i didn't pick this one i don't know why just because it's, for me it's looking like a a, a game graphic you know it's like yeah. a game mm -hmm. yeah so it's, it's not, i think but it's my my sorry. opinion we we need to move we're gonna forward. move on but first <laughs> i want to show, show this like i'm sorry what it says I'm here sorry. it says you want to available, move forward, not, available, not, available in. not available on the app store okay <laughs> So, <laughs> little a little a little uh, a little hint Easter that egg. not digital. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, next one is from Igor Luis Ferreira. Go. This one is unreal. Um, I I'm not a huge fan of the the split down the middle because it just feels not tied to the rest of the environment. But I get where he's going with it. But if you see the, the the whip that he posted, he posted the wireframe and it's like, it's, I think just the boys are, are 2D and maybe that background mountain in the sky, but everything else, all the grass or the pool, the hedges, the, everything is all 3D. And, and I just think that that was, that was an exceptionally good effort. And I like the idea. I, I like the concept. I I think yeah, the I concept, I like it, the concept of, like, the breaking this yeah. wall that you are dividing, you know, two words, like, the, the word, you know, like, he, he is, mm. is like a breaking, broken the, the wall that I dividing the two words, like the favela and the, the city with money and no money. And I just, I just don't know if, if the perspective on the right side could be you know just yeah. like a yeah. uh, flat like the 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 the, the right the, actually the left side it's like a uh, from from one point of view and in perspective on the right side for me it doesn't match you know mm. that's it but but the idea yeah. it's good but you way you way lower in the perspective with these little houses and the tower seems to be huge and if what Conrad said that everything's CG. This could be true. Like, I don't know about those mountains back there. I don't know. But I, I think that the buildings could be could be real. Like, tr just tracing the lines to the horizon line. 
on the mm-hmm. left side of the image. I think it could be possible, but I don't know for sure. But it, I, like, I mean, when I look at it, I thought, well, uh, I think I've seen this before, you know, but considering it's all CG, like, congrats. Mm. It felt very much like when I first saw this one, I kind of thought like, like uh, it felt very advertising, I guess. Uh, how can I say? Yeah. It felt very ad agency. Like if I was flipping through a magazine, I would expect to see this and it would be like, I don't know, some ad for something. I'm not sure what it would be. I, I, I think it's more trying to be, you know, make a, you know, kind of statement, but it felt, I, maybe that's even the coloring and kind of the split down the middle. It felt very much like an advertisement. I don't mean that good or bad. Just, Guys, just I apologize. We're three minutes. We got to move forward. So this one, the username is JB OBJ. Nice. If his name was JBO, it would have been I, symmetrical. I JBO. wish someone could uh, like, you know, do some simultaneous translation of the uh, chat uh, over here because um, this is a it's lot of Portuguese getting today. Getting wild. <laughs> yeah, it's like Brazil versus the world. <laughs> I, I don't see the chat. Maybe Anderson can help. No, it's okay. Oh, uh-huh. It's all right. <laughs> Uh, Mike is complaining chat. that we were all talking Italian today. I am not in the <laughs> chat either, but it's fine. I just uh, uh, was just okay. noticing it. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump into this one. Someone. This um, one is awesome. I... Yeah, you go, Milton. Interesting. No, no, just just want to say, like, first impressions. Uh, very interesting mix of real stuff with maybe um, possible like close future makes interesting yeah i agree i i really love this one it it feels it feels it's very definitively favela but also kind of futuristic um the the only Dynamic. thing that yeah and and uh, yeah i think that the composition of these massive towers is actually really interesting um and i think the only things that that pull it down is like the render quality or like the image quality, especially on the sort of left third uh, is a little bit sort of wishy-washy and and washed out. And then also the, the scattering of the favelas is super repetitive and just very like even. And you can kind of see that it's like these rounded curve scatters. To me, the thing that's interesting is like what came first, the towers or the, or the favelas, you know? That's just something. Possibly maybe. both. Sorry. You know the you know the favela started because of the the building of the cities, right? With, right. With the cities going high and high, and the farms, you know, like back then, uh, the constructors, whatever, like the workers would gather around. Even like the earliest slaves would gather around the bigger, uh, you know, money things, and then. Because there was so much labor, so much things, so many things to do, the favelas when uh, grew up even bigger than the cities itself. I love the dynamic that the wires brings you right in the image, and the cables like push you inside. I actually didn't pick this one because uh, of what you said before. Like I didn't like the how repetitive. I love the idea. Um, I don't like to see that much repetition in that, but it did. Yeah, I, I, I think for me, like, I mean, just real quick, I know we got to move on. I, I do images, I wouldn't say like this, but I like repetitive elements. I uh, think just maybe this is a little too much for me, um, too many and maybe too many cables. Um, but I conceptually, I like the image. Yeah. It's pretty solid. It's a great concept, great concept, but it, it, oh, it, it needs some more work, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay, let's move on. Thank you. Do it. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> on the clock. No, no, it's, no, it's not really. We got to keep it. We're going to come back. You know, this is good to get a, a good overview of all the images. We're going to. So this is from Lambros. My problem I... with this image is that I don't get like. A, a story or anything like it's an image like a photo 
and and that's it but it doesn't communicate i mean maybe i don't understand what it's written there maybe there's some hidden message i need i see the ball down that that's what i can see there's a ball yeah there's i'm, I'm highlighting the ball yes and that's what i can see and that's the detail that i got but apart from that um i, I tried to zoom in around this image to i mean i love the details but they're not telling me a story or they're not communicating anything to me. So maybe there's something written there that I don't understand that could also be, but uh, like the image is really well done. I'm just missing some information, I guess. Yeah, I agree just with those comments. I, th yeah, okay. I think it's been really well executed and it's there's beautiful deal details in it, but it just, I'm left thinking, okay, yeah, but why, you know? Yeah. <laughs> nice story. Yeah, again, like I would say, like, uh, I agree with everybody on this one. I think um, we, we've talked about this before. It's like, uh, I think, again, coming from architecture, if you're going to like, this is really hard. Like the, the main character is the favelas. And so in this type of image, and so then it has to be really, really awesome. We, we had a couple of these kind of for like the cyberpunk challenge as well. And so you know, um, I don't know. This one also too, like, yeah. For some reason, I wanted to see a dead body in this one. That's, I don't you're really, know. You're really? You're always <laughs> looking for the dead bodies, man. No, it's man. It's because he's from Los Angeles. Like, <laughs> when I saw these, you like, get the guys made... in the last one, you know. <laughs> yeah, like when I saw all these images, I was like, holy man! Everybody is like really joyful people around here. Like they all made like really like joyful images, and all I could think about was like a cartel image or like you, you know like, it. it was like it was like the first thing that like came to my mind i was like oh i'm so sorry conrad this is not good. get the hint for a next challenge for matte paint do a jimmy dead pleaser body. crime scene dead body <laughs> crime scene that's the crime scene <laughs> oh yeah, it's interesting to hear different backgrounds and the way that we prioritize yeah. different, you know, compositions or different importance. This one is uh, the the username is Lucas Vintrera. Go. This tell this has a story. I mean, I really get it. I have this boy. I can see him, but not that much. And then I have the stadium, I guess, behind, and uh, I can imagine him dreaming, and that's what an image should should give me so this was one of my things i mean uh, maybe it's not i mean it also has a lot of details so for me it was a nice one yeah it's it, it, there's there's just a little bit of a lost opportunity here because the boy is is almost completely invisible yeah. except yeah. for his blue um clothing and he, he's actually holding a soccer ball and i think that ah, is shoot. what really I didn't see it. That's what sells this because he's looking at the stadium that I'm dreaming and Brazil is so fat, like so into the soccer that I totally agree. Uh, but but I think if if there was some kind of light down the street here that you could then create some kind of mm. rim light around the ball, still have the boy like silhouetted mostly because that's really really powerful but then just ha have this rim light wrapping around the clothing and the and the ball mm -hmm. just to bring him out a little bit and this would really start to sing totally agree i agree a silhouette's really bad um even like if there was a movie and you start the scene with a very like you, ju you just see the feet and a little the legs that's fine because you your brain can't complete the whole thing because it's moving but when it's a frame, you have to help the viewer to understand because I'm not going to be dating your image. You know, I, I'm going to look at it for five seconds or three or one. If it's not interesting, I'm going to look to the next thing. So uh, you have to help me reading the image. If it's too hot, too dark, too bright, you you miss it. You, you miss it because of simple contrast. But the image is really interesting. Gray colors photorealistic looks like a movie scene which is good but i would just add some atmosphere <laughs> behind the I character so we could see. I, I i feel super bad because like i actually didn't pick this image but like seeing it now and then uh, partially because i didn't know the kid was holding a soccer ball but seeing it now and and it's like oh wow this is like 
super impressive. And I agree with Conrad, like if there was a, just a little bit more light in that background, like, I don't know, maybe some kind of celebration from the stadium or just something to highlight the, the foreground, that silhouette, it would, this, this would be an entirely different, I just, I think, rim light. Image. some rim light, yeah, right? Rim light, rim light, light to, the, to, to the top right. of the head. Yeah. Yeah. That'll and be it's enough a shame to, to the light yeah. is there. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, sorry. We're three minutes in. We got to move forward. Okay, this one is from Mateo. Go. Mateo. <laughs> Guys, this image made me laugh. I, I don't mean it. Don't mean it. Let's, no. get a, let's do a little close up. Yeah. I did not pick this image, but me and, me and my wife laid in bed last night looking at this image. <laughs> Is that a pig in the middle? That's some uh, just... favela pork. That, that could be true. <laughs> that could be real. <laughs> Guaranteed to make you sick. It could and be bigger. And... And... Yeah, yeah. If you have some other animals too, like capybaras in some places, you have like little alligators, <laughs> uh, monkeys on your trees crossing the street. That Simpson, Simpsons uh, episode was kind of, I don't know, like reducing resort to just monkeys crossing the streets a bit <laughs> too much. But it, it happens, you know, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, okay, so talking about the image itself, if if the boar wasn't there and if the background city was was better integrated because it feels very much just like mm. a noisy, like lights, there's no actual atmosphere and there's no energy in those lights. But if, if those two things had been fixed, this would actually have some pretty cool uh, composition because you've got this road that kind of disappears really steeply. And... And what it makes me, what I actually want to do in this environment is walk about 10 meters forward and see the amazing view of this massive environment that, that, it, that it exposes. And, and I think that's what draws me in is, is that, um, that tease, that tease of, of the view that is about to become. What is the, wait, uh, I mean, I don't know. Is there some kind of importance to the red flags? There's like all these, these like red flags. You guys see those? Oh, now I see them. They, yeah, I see them. There's like, I, I feel like there's something, I feel Maybe like there's China. something going on in this image <laughs> that like we're missing. Like, you know, like almost like a, like a running of the bulls, like over the hill, there's a bunch of people coming for this uh. like boar and they're going, you know, like, I, I feel like there's something I'm missing like from this. Like, I don't know what the yeah. red flags are. True. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, if you see red flags, it should... <laughs> yeah, turn around. Somebody, somebody wrote in the comments, that's our president. I'm Colombian. <laughs> I think they're referring to the oh, Got it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, guys, I apologize for three minutes in. Jason, is let's Mato go with the next Silva. Oh, this one is on, one of my favorites. Yeah, pick, I'm going to yeah, clap to this one. one. <laughs> yeah, I want to that's, clap. That's what I can do. I know, I know who Brilliant. this is from. This is actually Nuno Silva. Is uh, he he wrote Mato Silva, but Nuno Silva. He's uh, very yeah, often, Nuno, yeah, very often in our challenges. So wow. Yeah, I picked this this one. Uh, I thought it was really well done. Obviously, it looks like there's a you know a. a a lot of the 3D elements are used. Uh, you guys would have to speak more to that. It had a really kind of, for me, a little bit more cinematic vibe, at least in terms of, had a, like a really kind of like Ready Player One kind of feel mm. to it a little bit with how the towers were designed and, and done. But uh, I, yeah, I'm into it. I thought it was really pretty, really well executed. Um, yeah, I, I don't have... The light is just ma magic. It's amazing. Yeah, the light How it eats the... The roofs, like, wow, wow. Yeah, that foreground roof yeah. in the, the <laughs> bottom left, just just that area. Yeah. I just look at yeah, that yeah, and I go, oh, wow. The, let's just the crop it. Let's light. just crop it out. It's, yeah, let's oh, just yeah, crop look it. at it. <laughs> <laughs> that, and, that and first look at that place. Corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at it. that corner. <laughs> I, I, I love this. I mean, the comments already made were my, my thoughts exactly. I love the atmosphere uh, and to, to not cross over the same stuff. Another thing I love about this is that even take out the towers and 
and and use just the base that just the rooftops as as your base environment to build a map painting for mm -hmm. the next portion yeah and you know yeah. i i i reckon this is definitely going to be in the top three it's i feel like it's so obvious that it'll be top three i could be wrong but uh, so that means that we will be using it in the next uh, in the next phase of the competition. And I feel like you could take the towers and you could use the towers as, as something and rebuild an environment. You yeah. could take the rooftops and build something. It's just so, so versatile. Conrad, you'll be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'll be disappointed. I think we'll be <laughs> surprised. Can I have veto? Everything can, I have can happen. <laughs> um Maybe, are they allowed to like do anything with like aspect ratio for the next round too? Like, I mean, I think it'd be interesting to see this one yep. move to a more cinematic aspect ratio instead of being a, you know, somewhat again, kind of like traditional arc viz aspect ratio move to a more cinematic kind of film aspect ratio. I yep. think it'd be really interesting for this one. Um, just something to think about. Guys, sorry. Uh, yeah, I want to just point out something. Uh, someone wrote, um, in the comments about the previous image about this one just i just want to point out because i think it's uh, an interesting uh, point they made was that those red flags uh, they wrote that uh, people were putting those let's see it says in the pandemic people had red flags in their windows because they were starving i don't know if that was some kind mm. of symbol uh, uh -huh. that, to note that you needed some food or something mm. but i just wanted to tell you guys that was in the comments so this one is from people, ma visualizer <laughs> Yeah, I think I like, I'll be honest, I picked this one because I was at like getting down to like my, like I needed to pick 10. So like, I don't mean that in an insulting way, but you know, I, you know, it was, I did choose this one. I think it has some interesting things going on. Technically, I think there's some issues, but you know, yeah. I like Super uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I like the contrast between the warmth and the, the cold part of the image. The, the red guy, it's kind of bothering me somehow. Um, I don't know if it's a perspective thing or something, but um, the girl... He looks like uh, he's leaning back. Yeah, he's a bit... Warm. I think he's Apart sitting on that beam or whatever. In a, weird oh, he is too. in a weird way, though. Can you rotate the image? I think it's supposed to be like two different worlds, right? Like, like Let's this, see. like yes, the world definitely. here, like on the lower left, and then the yeah, we like lower, to see like it the rotated. upper right. Like it's two different worlds. Uh -huh. Is kind of how I read it. There you go. Oh, oh, I prefer it this way. <laughs> yeah, so see? For, yeah. for for anybody i, I like it like now. this uh if i yeah. for anybody in the comments if you want us to rotate your image you just pipe <laughs> pipe right up you know we don't we want to be fair yes that's true <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get in trouble okay should we move on yeah this? i, I thought no, yeah no, i think on. this is we nice still have some time next. you know like okay. we haven't yep. this, sorry i'm getting 20 seconds <laughs> Because we're we're not we're not knocking stuff out at this stage, are we? No, not yet. Yeah, that will come next. Okay, time's up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. Here goes next. twenty seconds. <laughs> yeah, I think at the end of this we'll have a discussion, and obviously next we, no, the, when we announce the second part of the competition, we're going to have a whole set. Uh, kind of, you know, we're going to go through like what we're going to have it thick worked out like how we're going to manage the second part right like with from the from the winning images i think this one is this one that that image that we just saw i will just say it's really hard because it's conceptually or architecturally similar to the previous one except the previous one was so executed so damn well that it like kind of it, it hurts that one a little bit i'll just say that okay the next one is uh niccolo brovelli Wow. Yep. That's all I'm going to say for this one. <laughs> I didn't I didn't initially pick this one um because I think from the thumbnail it was just like uh not enough contrast in the environment. Like there's contrast towards the foreground but it doesn't quite balance out. It feels just very like overlit. But then when I once I opened it up and I looked at the the palm trees and the the wet, the the humidity, and then there's glaring light. Like it really, it it really gives you that humid, 
pressing like like heat and and claustrophobic feeling um but in in like a really romanticized way like these kids are having the time of their lives playing in the water yeah i mean i I will also like it with a bit more contrast mainly on the right, right bottom corner like push a bit more this kind of natural vignetting but i think it it really gives you that warmth that 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 you were talking about it's very nice I, I, I think I, when I, I picked this one from the thumbnails when I looked at it. Uh, it was hard to see it. I was trying to pick the best, my faves out of the thumbnails. And this one was one of the last that I, that I was like, what is this? Oh, okay, kids playing football. And I thought it was interesting. Uh, lighting is very romantic. I think I like it. Um, uh, I would totally pick that for my top favorite ones because it, it grabs a feeling um most people think that favelas are all about violence and gangs and stuff but that's like the small part of it kind of like all the cities right uh but they're just poor but of course it, they have violence but every city has that in in some proportions they also do and and mostly like people capture that and uh, focus on that part, but that's not the truth of most of it. You know, they're poor, but they they have pe- people working and stuff. And and the feeling, the overall feeling of the favelas would be much closer to that than to City of God kind of, you know, the gangster stuff. So yeah, totally digging it. Okay, I'm, Jason, I'm taking the forward. initiative here. Thank you very much. So this one is from Nicholas uh, Nicholas Wertner. We got an Austrian playing tonight. I picked this one. I, I find it super cool. I mean, it's it's crazy totally. It has it's not necessarily just favelas, but I mean, it, you feel like you're flying in the image with with these birds and. I yeah, know, like, I think this one was really cool too. Yeah. yeah, it reminds it actually reminds me of something from a from a film from like the eighties, like some kind of fantasy film, but I can't put my finger on it. Um, and it it I think my favorite part of the image is the the far left and the far right, and the way that those that's framing the the sh- shot because the 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 density of of the buildings there just gives me like super vertigo and i just imagine living right up on that cliffside with the risk of of like constant risk of falling to your death and just being like you know it's just such a uh you they just have to live there you know um i think i think that the image has has its issues it's a little bit monotonal uh, the there's not enough directional light there's like there is directional light but the way that it's integrating with the cg is just a little bit like not quite right uh and then the cg terrain makes because the cg terrain is so low detail as well it kind of makes the f- image feel smaller in scale because there's not enough for that mm. big scale uh information there i would like to see the work in progress of this one like how is it done <laughs> But the only things that that I I can say that I don't like that much is the the color of that sky. It's it feels like my client. Can you make it more blue and something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the only thing which just because I have a thing with blue skies, I don't like them. So, but uh, it's it's a crazy image and it's something totally different <clears throat> from the others, and that's already a good point for me. I just dropped the link to the uh, to the submission in the chat oh, great. in in Zoom. I will have a look at it. Um, there's actually they they did a they did a night version that looks really cool, um, oh, the but they version. decided on a on a day version. Um, it looks like I mean, Avatar and, and Lord of the Rings had a kid. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll pa- I don't think I can paste this in the chat and the live stream. No, Jason but... might have to confirm it. Yeah, or yeah, Jason right. should open it, but 
I don't think you, we have. You, you're going to see this, this 3D model in the next Unreal Engine real. They're going to be like, you can do yeah. millions and trillions and trillions. <laughs> and trillions. <laughs> Oh, that's Jason, we got to move forward. Yeah. I was just waiting for you to tell me. This one is from... Go. Ra uh, Raul Izazas. I'm really bad at names. I'm sorry if it's somebody's name. I didn't mean to Raul butcher it. Isaias. In this case, Blue Sky is fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> this, this image just brings me joy. I mean, it's it's not playing the right way with this kid in the i mean my heart is melting i can't speak i am a little boy so <laughs> i can't <laughs> speak about this image i could start crying or something i i i think this is just phenomenal the like the, just it's just so elated and so euphoric this kid it's just in pure bliss and and like you know it just and compositionally it's got some time it's simple but it's dynamic and the only part that kind of to me goes ah it was a little bit of a lost opportunity is that it really feels like the favelas just stop and and i i just i want to see i want to see something behind there i want to see the like rolling hills or like the distant city but something still that, that plays into this minimalist like blue sky but just feel like it doesn't just end at the end of the plane, you know. I love this image. Um, you know, since I saw it, I was like, oh man, amazing, really beautiful. There is very little criticism from my side. The only thing is that it looks like the water pipe on the side, it's a little bit tiny in terms of like, uh, I don't know if it's electricity or if it's a water pipe. That was the only thing that kind of bothered me a little bit, but it wasn't really like I was nitpicking. I think that, you know, even the small detail of the uh, textile on the left adds to the color um, composition of this image. I don't know. I loved it. Yeah, what I, I like also like how the... Sorry, you go, you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Just because what I think it is, is you can, you know, you can watch and laugh at the same time with this guy because it's the, this kid laughing. It's it's pretty pretty awesome. Oh, we can feel just just watching this. I like it this too much. I was gonna say something about the composition and the and then the actual lines that you can see that most of the lines in there are pointing to the to the kid to the kids. <laughs> Uh, laughter, right? So everything is telling you, look at this kid having fun, um, and even like the clothes on the on the wire. And I like how the he's kind of on the bottom third, and the sun is on the other, kind of like balancing. Also, like very noisy foreground with blue sky, very clear, giving some. Good guest out balance over there. Really like it. Great image. Guys, we're well over three minutes. Jason. Cheers to that kid. Nice change of sky. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Uh, this wasn't one of my picks. I don't think um, I, I think it has the right idea and it's going in the right direction, uh, but it just wasn't quite interesting enough. It was a little bit too silhouetted. Uh, and and I think the, the, the real killer for me was the fake atmosphere cloud stuff that 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 went on in the foreground. And I think that just it, on top of the fact that it's silhouetted like you'd normally if you think about the way that a camera would work, you wouldn't get a black shadow with no detail in there and then lift it with a fog. Like it just, the fog would be scattering the light through and you would get more detail. Um, <clears throat> but just generally speaking, that kind of foreground, like cloudy um, effect is just something that really irks me. 
but you know i think the composition is nice the, the colors are just a little bit too strong um you know it, it has it has some things going for it that's for sure yeah it was also not one of my picks uh, for the same reasons exactly the same reasons like the sky could have the, the sun could have been a bit lower the atmosphere a bit more natural like the colors are a bit odd to me and also the contrast like you could see a bit of silhouette like light touching this silhouettes and everything so i mean composition and idea super nice uh contrast like uh, color grading could be a bit reward in my opinion i'm only Bro. gonna add that we we have some sets like that in rio uh oh. that look mm. really fake and so and the over. temperature yeah, it's, because it's really hot, and uh, I don't know what happens with the atmosphere and the sunset. Some days of uh, summer that look really <laughs> like like uh, red and sometimes pink. It was really really saturated, like I said. I, I kind of like this image. Uh, like Conrad said, don't ever use Photoshop clouds ever again. Like the comic <laughs> sense with Photoshop, kind of like the lens flare of Photoshop. Don't use it. Oh god and borders but yeah maybe some less um less contrast right uh, some more subtle uh feeling could be good to read the image better but i understand the kind of like romantic mysterious as well i, I like it guys let's move forward are you okay there milton there was somebody attacking you a kid was there like a little kid attacking you no no it's actually my my daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> on the back. So yes. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is from Vin Vittorio Bonapace, another regular on our challenges. Um, nice. Go. Yeah. Really nice, huh? Okay, this, one? this one it's amazing yeah. because I like the idea, the composition, and you know this those draws drawings on the wall like home sweet home outside it's like a uh, amazing such idea you know just to tell this story about uh, like a, a homeless and and i yeah. like it the colors too the, the lighting it's amazing pretty you know pretty uh, realistic yeah i like this one i picked this one i think you could have I think what was really interesting about this is like conceptually, it's kind of a dark image, but obviously the lighting is it's it's bright, but the overall like theme of the image is quite sad, um, which I find really interesting in, in juxtaposition to the lighting choice, right? So uh, yeah, I like this one. I think it's a good image. I think it was done technically. It's It's quite nice. Yeah, there's something a little surrealistic around the rendering style of this. Now, I think it might yeah. be if I think it might be the black levels that are just a little bit lifted. And it's like it's not something that I don't like. It's it's just a it's a characteristic of it and it makes it look a little less photographic at least on that on that main wall, uh, the focal point. Um and and I think it's it's really nice. I love the composition. Love the idea. Um, you know, I, I, there is some there is something in there that I don't like, but I'm just not entirely sure what it is. I I don't know. Maybe the the texture of the wall looks like a cartoon. I don't know. I, I just yeah. Same because the rest of the, you know the the foreground the it's it's like a realistic on the. But this painted wall, it's like a like a cartoon for me. Yeah, that's that's it. And I don't because I don't I th dislike the cartooniness. I just think but I that love it doesn't it's the graffiti. Quite match. It's the graffiti, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Guys, it's kind, of, gotta... it's kind of real, kind of realistic. But uh, that cartoon is a. Uh, I think it's the whole idea, right? Is the graffiti yeah. of what it could be and and all interesting. But it, 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 I, I'm like Conrad, it, it's missing, I don't know, the idea is too subtle. I don't, I don't know. Guys, we got to move forward. I apologize. This one We're is from Y-Kin. Yeah, I 
I love it. This one. I love, I love it. This one, yeah. Nice. Yeah, like a... It's dynamic, you know. It's it's telling us uh, a move, a movement, you know. It's just just yeah. an action, yeah. you know. It's pretty pretty amazing. I like it this very much. Yeah, I love it. I, 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 I just kind of a into the Spidey verse kind of vibe to it for some mm, reason. It I does, know, yeah. Kind of Chromatic little, aberration. Like, yeah, yeah. It, there's something there that made it feel that way, and yeah, I, I, I like this one. I like the play on the angle. It's got like the Dutch angle going on. I think it's good. I, I, this was the only one. I'll lie. I saw the part progress of this one, and I saw it go from the lights to like the fireworks, and I was just like, oh yeah, man, this is like this <laughs> one. It, yeah, it played out good. I like this one. Yeah, um, there's there is a there's a nice amount of chromatic aberration in this one, which which gives it that Spider Verse feeling. Um, one one thing that may, maybe someone can explain to me, but it to me this the story looks like he's saying the kid's done this massive like flip kick, and he's kicked the ball into the light and he smashed the light, but it's not like he's just kicked the ball. So the light can't be smashed. So the why why is the light exploding? Or is that not a, not an exploding? Light? I think it's bugs. Like I thought and... they were fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like bugs flying around to me. I think it's a representation of like you know the light. It's a normal light, but in the case of him pretending that he's playing a match, that this could be fireworks in his head. Mm. You know, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Idea. It's a stretch, but I <laughs> like it's a stretch in my mind. But I love that idea, and I, and I think I'll, I'll follow take, me for more bullshit that. about art. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trust. I'll put it to Fabio to come up with the bullshit answer. But I love it. Yeah, on Sonic Stagnant, I actually interpreted like it was also the some water on the floor, and maybe it kicked it up. But that it's too mm -hmm. up, so that cannot work. I think so. this is one too that like I, I think what's successful about this. Is Images. I think you could crop this image as well into a little bit more kind of uh, different like cinematic aspect ratio and it would still be pretty successful. Like I think it would, like if you lost a little, little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom, I think it would be pretty nice. Mm, agreed. So why can just commented what Fabio said. So uh, Fabio, um, oh, okay, cool. maybe you Done. should change your statement. <laughs> he gets it. Follow me for more insight, very insightful <laughs> art comments. I, I'm, uh, or wait, I'm you guys art. talk. I was like at least half right. I said they were like fireworks. So like you know, I, I was like halfway there. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's... You guys talked beforehand, didn't you? Okay. Ryan told you yeah, what he wanted cheating. to say. <laughs> Cheetah. Yeah, for sure. Jason. Out of like all the soccer images, this was my favorite. Like mm -hmm. that was my favorite. Okay, we're gonna move on. Last one, and then we're gonna go into the elimination. No, I'm sorry, I didn't pick this one. Me neither. But... Yeah, I don't. I didn't. Uh, I think I picked this one. I can't imagine uh, like that. <laughs> 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 But no, no, it's like, more know. bodies next time. <laughs> no. I can see the ghost, but it's missing a body. <laughs> I think there are two dead bodies on the ground out there, was... there. There is a soccer yeah, ball, no, though. No. But there was like, oh, there was some, some part of me that wanted to see maybe some play on like Sicario or like, you know, something like this, some film like this. Like, I don't. I, I think this was like my 10th pick and I was just like, okay, the, you know, sorry for the person that did this. You were my 10th pick and it was just like, I had to pick 10. So you said um, that already, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can't use that one. It was my extra 10th pick. <laughs> I think what, what, what sort of pulls this one down is that it's the, all of the focus that we can give is on the foreground objects, which is just, it's like some money, a gun. And to be fair, those are rendered really nicely, a little bit gamey, but you know, the, 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 the brief was not, you have to be photorealistic. Um, so, so, but that because of that depth of field, I, I don't really feel any connection to favelas. This could be anywhere really, except that I recognize the, fa the blurred out fa favelas in the background. Um, yeah. And I'm just like, yeah okay and anyone if i was to 
if you were to try and change this, you would still you would either have to dip the field the foreground uh, or the background because because of the focal length. Jason, time cup. Yeah. Elimination round. Okay, so should yeah. we explain it to people? Yeah. I mean, we yeah, we did before. We're going to go through it again real quick so the judges so know too. Basically, judges, now what you have to do, each one of you has to pick one image that is not going to make no, it. No, no, no. Sorry, Fabio. You're jumping ahead <laughs> of yourself. Uh-oh. Now we're gonna go wow. through. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to each image, and we're gonna say whether you think it could be in the top ten or not. Okay, uh, and each each of the four of you will say yes or no. If it's two against okay. two, the image stays. If it's three to one, no, then it's out. And if we get down and there's not ten images, we got to get down to ten images. If we get down and we, if we if we go through all of them, we don't have ten images. We'll do it again. You know, so we get down okay. to ten. But Jason, hold on, hold on, and because to do. <laughs> You see how professional we are? Okay. <laughs> now, and then, so Fabio, yeah, just let me let me finish. I think you, you'll see what I'm talking about. So then uh, during this time, each person gets a veto, okay? So each of you have one veto you can use, which means that if you say, if somebody, if the, the group here picks an image to be removed, you can veto it. No, Jason, Jason. Am I getting wrong. it wrong? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so basically we're... <laughs> No, that because we used to do it like this. Oh, but I'm it mixing wasn't it. Working. I'm mixing it up. Oh yes. man, I'm sorry. I'm totally so, mixing no, it. No, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you see, we're we're tuning the system. So it's basically, e each one of us will have to go and pick an image until we're left only yeah, with ten. Now I remember. <laughs> yeah, and so we, if say you know, if I decide that my image needs to be deleted, and then Conrad doesn't agree. Each judge has one veto yes. only that we can use. And if we veto an image, then it means that that image will get to the top 10. So nobody okay. else can pick it to delete in this round. After okay. that, the vetoes don't exist anymore. Yeah. So for instance, you know, I can go with the first image and say, I don't like it. Jason might say, no, veto. That image will make it to the top 10. Yeah, normally you're going to do that if it's one that you think could be like a winner or top three or something, but you wanted to make it into that final round, you know. And the reason why we're leaving them like this on the screen is so that, you know, we don't go one by one, but we have a chance to look at them all together so that we can make a better decision. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us. Jesus, that's a crowd. And we need to get rid of like 10 images. Yeah. Are you guys ready? So how, who wants to go first? <laughs> who wants to go? That's the easy one. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. <laughs> are, are, you, are we going to do it? I'll go first. I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. I thought we weren't going to be in this, Fabio, but whatever. We can be. Should we remove ourselves from this? And then it's like the judges have to pick twice. Yeah, I think. All right. I think that we should just vote at the end, you know. So I'm just gonna roll the dice, okay? <laughs> I can go first. I can break it out. Oh, Lisa. Yeah. Um, the pink sky doesn't. I have to decide which one to eliminate, right? Yes. Or which? Okay. So the fifth from the top left. Dario Peanut. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, if I'm going to show vetoing. it real quick so we can make sure that uh, nobody wants to veto it, okay? So I'm sorry, Dario. This one is going to be out of here. And nothing happened. <laughs> Delete! <laughs> Your image doesn't want to leave, okay. Dario, thanks a lot. Is there a sound effect? There it is. Yes. Wow. You can make it. <laughs> Don't let it <laughs> We actually do have a sound effect. <laughs> Dario, sorry about that. You didn't get the toilet. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I can do it. The All right. The last one, I think. I don't, I don't. The last one can. The very last one. Any, yeah. any takers? Any vetoers? No? Okay. Maybe James? Agree. Oh. 
<laughs> I I think it I I'm not going to disagree. Yeah, I, agree. I think Jimmy Jimmy maybe. No. <laughs> All right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only James around here. <laughs> I'll vote for the third I'm sorry. one. I'm sorry. The, I'm just... the romantic cliche. The third third image. This one. Yep. Okay, any takers? You see how efficient this is? Look Ooh. at that. We're we're snow piercing through. Okay. I think the very first I think the very first image. The very first image. Oh, nobody, anybody? Uh, oh, hang oh, on a sec. Can you just show me? <laughs> hang on. Wait. So We're starting to get there. That's this. Yeah, it's gonna. <laughs> you know what? Um. Okay, okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go back to the content. I just want to see. There might be one other that yep. I want to. All right. No. Yep. I'm gonna save my veto. You're gonna save it. You're gonna use it or save it. Save it. Okay. All I, right. might re- I might regret that, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This Thanks was so one of the most like, um, uh, fantastic Rio representation. Uh, not not super super Rio, but it was really nice. But not my no, brief but no, phase. I'm gonna but no veto. Gonna save not, my veto as well. Not yeah. veto worthy. Okay. <laughs> gonna save my veto. All right. But I, oh my god! Now you have to pick one. <laughs> I ha- yeah well. I have to pick one to go down. Oh, I think that's easy. I don't. I don't dig the big. Yeah, yeah. Oink. Yeah. Okay. No vetoes. Okay. No vetoes. Do we have a special effect for the pig? Oh, we don't have one. <laughs> I can give you a. Let me see. What have I got here? I don't have anything. This good. more like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, yeah next who's up next lisa back to me uh the empty street upright murder lane a uh, right 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 this one yeah mm. Mm. okay good call agree wow this is yep. this is actually just too easy today isn't it Fabio. We are in tune. Wait until the end. Wait yes. until yeah, the exactly. end. We'll kill each other. Well, like, okay, let's like remind let's remind everyone here though. Like the when we get to the top ten, the vetoes are gone. No, you don't have the veto anymore. Oh. In the top ten, that's goes are gone. We're not doing this anymore. In the top ten, everybody has a unilateral pick to remove an image, and you can't um you can't uh, stop it. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Ouch. Yes. This is how we do it. <laughs> Whether it's good or not, I don't know. Gonna get ugly. Who's next? Okay. Uh, uh, Ando, yeah. I've... It's me? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. The, the orange one. This one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, this is too easy. Come on, oh, somebody's gonna get harder. now somebody's <laughs> gonna pick something. Come on. It's only oh, there's thirteen left, okay? We have to get rid of three more images. We have three judges, it's perfect. Is it uh is it me next? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah, Conrad, you can go. Oh god, okay. Um I'm gonna pick the the homeless alley drawing. This one? Yep. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a vote. <laughs> and I'm oh, save it. You can use a veto. On. And I, use I'll use my veto now. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'll second my veto. That's a that's a veto. That's a Mercedes veto that you got right now. <laughs> Why? Okay. So that one is safe. That means, does that mean that uh, Conrad gets another pick, right? Or? I don't think so, because then I could just go through all of them and everyone would use their vetoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come back and then around. I would get. It's going to come, might the come back around one. to you, Okay. The futuristic favela. The fifth. This one, yeah. Yeah. yeah or maybe the sixth. I don't know. Like, yeah, this one. <laughs> 
the way. <laughs> Just pick three. <laughs> yeah, well, this one and the next for me. Okay, this one. I'm not... Which one do I mean, you want this round? You have to choose one, Milton. <laughs> okay, the fifth. But this one. Just right. compared to the others, because I think it's a really interesting concept. Yeah, yeah. But compared to the others, there are some more technical, technically um, better ones, I think. All right. Okay. Any takers? I think we need to see it in full. To be fair to everyone, Let's we need have a to... Look at it. <laughs> okay. Just to make sure there's no vetoes. All right. That's his last chance. Oh man, my hands are sweating with this veto <laughs> business because <laughs> like I don't want to like I really like that image and I really like it for the next phase, but I'm like no, I need to I need to hold back. I need to the veto. So is it, is it Jimmy's, is it Jimmy's turn? Pick. Yeah. Uh, it's getting tough now. My turn. Yeah, I'm going to say the fourth image. No, no. Never mind. <laughs> he vetoed uh, himself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the seventh image. The seventh image. Okay, so that's six. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Okay. Nobody? Sure. Uh, two Can more. Can we see it full? Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. let me see it. Can I see the others again? I'm on the edge of a veto. I'm on the edge of a veto. <laughs> I might also be. need to see. Yeah, might also see what's need left. to see that one rotated. A top ten. I don't have another veto. That's yeah, right. So there's two left to get rid of. So I will veto on this one. Okay. Veto. Me. That was our special. Veto. All right, Christ. So, moving on. That's because we need to there are other we upgrade things. our special effects. They don't. Okay, so who's used the veto now? We have Lisa and Ander have used one. Okay, so there's two left out there. Yeah. Uh, whose turn is it now? Is it uh, Lisa's turn again? The fourth one. The fourth one. Anybody? No, wait. There's there's three there's three vetoes because there's one two three four five. It's five of us to vote. Oh, no, that's, that's sorry. Just yeah, me right. and the. Right. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so there's three vetoes three more left. Vetoes. No. Oh, did I skip somebody on this round? Fourth one. I confirm. Maybe me, I don't know. I think I skipped Milton, actually. Anyways, no, Milton I, I would. wanted to delete two. Sorry. Yeah, me <laughs> wanted to delete two, actually. <laughs> My second one would be the, the fifth, the one next to, to this one. Oh, no. The football. Yeah. This one? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, anybody? I don't have All right. anymore. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> Special effects? Oh, oh, hold on. Huh? Okay. Nobody? Yeah. All right. Whoa. Can I buy <laughs> someone else's that is... Vita? <laughs> Can... <laughs> Depends what you'll pay for it. <laughs> I'll sell you mine. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's me. I said the fourth one before. Ah, yeah. I think it's Lisa. Or what? Is it Lisa's your turn? Yeah, I will stick with the fourth one. All right. If this is it, then uh, we got the ten. No more vetoes. Oh wow. All right. All right. All right. Any v vetoes? No vetoes. No veto. Okay. I don't have one. Oh, oh I, sorry. I, it doesn't sound like I lost my veto. You lost yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are the top right, ten. Wow. Congrats, everyone. Congrats. Who's in there? Congratulations. Now it only gets worse. <laughs> we have to get rid of five of them. Now, judges, then we will vote. each one of you, each one of you has to pick one image that they're going to delete. This is the big one. So you carry the responsibility of a generation. <laughs> the person that you might delete the image from, they might quit their career. And so <laughs> I'm just saying this to make your life easier. Wasn't it like we were placing them in, from top to, I oh know that's in the top five. Shit. The top mm. five. Oof. 
Don't worry. I guess Lisa's up again. My first. I got my dreams it. crushed once. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the. Everybody's gonna hate me. Second one. Oh. <laughs> The second one, did you say? Yeah, <laughs> Look at Ender's uh, face. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> like, no, excuse no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> why, wow. why we don't have the vetoes anymore? No more vetoes. Uh, no the... more vetoes, right? Yeah. No. Can we pull our vetoes together to make... <laughs> <laughs> Super veto. By our powers okay. combined. Sorry. Uh, I'm so on, let's sorry. Let's see who it was. Uh, this was AP rendering. I'm Thank sorry, you so AP. much. Um, you came in at number ten. Okay. We're done. <sighs> Sad. Sorry. Look at look at Ender background. Yeah, that's <laughs> really oh, nice. <laughs> Typical Brazilians. I would pick the second <laughs> one. Se second one. I'm not so oh. well. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you're I'm gonna fine. pick the six. The six one. The six. You just you. The first one. The, the second. Of the, the Lord of the Rings one, right? So I did it myself. This is, the people this who is, first this one, is Milton and good. The people who did these images are like, oh man, what? Oh yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. First so, one, second line. First one, second line. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much to Nicholas. Um, number nine. Yeah. He had a lot of work. Made the top that. 10. Congrats. Um, all right. I think it's me next, right? Just tell me if it's not, because I can't remember these orders. Yes. I, 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 I am gonna... I'm supposed to be after, all right? No? <laughs> he, and, Ander doesn't want to be too late because it gets even harder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, go, go, I'm go, go, ahead. For the go ahead. Go ahead. I can't. I can't remember the order. So, no, go, 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 go. Number six. This one. Yep. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the whole world is gonna hate me. No, so thank you, Raul. <laughs> it's beautiful, but but you know all of but the you can delete the that. other one that you wanted good to good night everybody <laughs> we'll night. make a trade then maybe the stream will mysteriously end now <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so uh it's Anda. crazy and okay for me the second one that was fast so okay Con conrad what, what's your favorite image <laughs> so thanks okay, so a lot my, to my Halo, favorite, Crystal. Uh, my favorite image to win, we'll find out. But this image here is one of the ones that I wanted to like. I really wanted that one to make it to the top five. Oh uh, yeah, that was going to be one of my vetoes. To bring back that image, please, or something. <laughs> yeah, we 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 talked about having like a Lazarus rule or something, you know, where you could like bring one back from the dead if it was like. Yes. Yeah. Maybe that's a maybe that's for the next challenge. Yeah. I want to bring one from the dead. <laughs> the very first one with the pink clouds. I I missed to veto that one. But uh, never mind. guys, don't worry. Come to the D two community group. I'm gonna share where Conrad lives. <laughs> we'll we'll fix this Brazilian style. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> Oh god. I mean on the, the chat people next? are speechless. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> and they're cursing. Yes. They're like control Z, control Z. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that from you, Conrad, really. I'm disappointed. <laughs> well, okay, okay. So I'll step in and I will say that it was either the first one or that one. So you know, but I, I looked at it and like the first one I is. I have to save just one key. I can save just uh, one key. <laughs> artistically speaking, or like compositionally speaking, it's it is. It just marginally was better. Emotionally, no, but you know, ultimately, that was the decision. Conrad, <laughs> Alan, and friend done. Good. Okay, so I, so this whole time Jimmy's watching. He's looking. <laughs> he's looking. He's got to pick one. It's not easy. That's an that's an odd one, huh? 
Yeah, uh, the Ooh. third one. The third one. <laughs> okay. Oof. So, thank I'm you so much sick. to my visualizer. Maria Vittoria. You almost made it to the top five, but not quite. Sorry about that. We have to. We have to. We have to get it to five. Otherwise, everybody's a winner, and that's not what this is about. <laughs> we have to have a winner. It's about to lose. Uh, okay, so we have the top. Sorry, I'm gonna move it back here like that. The top five images. Congrats to everyone who has made it. Um, yeah. So now, let me pull up my little sheet here. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. We had a little sheet we used before for doing the tabulations. You can guys, I have a tie? Uh, you, you are not allowed to have a tie. No. <laughs> <laughs> you I want us to decide. go easy on you now after all of that? I can't decide. <laughs> all right, guys. Whilst we organize this, why don't you... You guys talk, yeah. Why don't you... Have a like the video. Huh? You see that right there? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, like. That was a stretch, but I'll. It's uh... it's, it's late. <laughs> I know. It's really tough. Oh the my good god. thing that Wait. tomorrow is Saturday because this late stream is going to take me off until Sunday morning. I'm half drunk, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Um, the first one is really interesting, but technically speaking, compared to the others, too simple. Second one Milton's is technically, biting. yeah, I'm just like uh, uh, chip chatting, right, about the images because everybody was silent. And the second one, <laughs> it's really interesting, uh, super technical, uh, beautiful lighting, but it missed some soul to me in there. And the third one is full of soul and, and, and technically well done. The fourth one, not so sure about, sorry, the, the fourth one, not so sure about the technical, well, not technical, but just like more of a soul idea, it's missing there. And then the, the last one is beautiful for the idea and colors and composition and all that. And I'm like in between the last and the third one as my favorites, because one is like the, the romantic, dark, representation beautiful and the other ones like the super light also soulful you know but i have to say like i'm usually i usually i'm usually seeing compositions of favelas in the dark and as a a bad place and all and the third one gives me more hope and and like it shows the good side of stuff the the, the last one as well but i like the the lighting on the third one very realistic uh, and that would be my pick. Now we're supposed Why to pick. Wait, 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 wait. Jason is. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying you. to. Uh, it takes takes me a second. Do the Excel sheet. Basically, yeah. you le you left to tell us, you know, the from the, one to five. the sequence from five to one or one to five. Yeah. And then we're gonna quickly run some very complex. Um, algorithms <laughs> to, see, <Okay. laughs> to see who wins. It's a very complex calculation. It's a... And of course, I did not set this up beforehand. So of course, uh, I mean it's a surprise every time, right? It should be. This should be. <laughs> this should be fun, you know, and unexpected. Yes. We are real, real <laughs> artists. We, yes. we don't use assets. We do everything from scratch every time. <laughs> It's amazing. So do we and just, don't prepare. Can we just can <laughs> don't we just have any you, organization? Can we just give you our top five? Like, do not we yet, because Jason is not ready. Just give yeah? me a, just okay. give me a <laughs> okay. Milton, by the way, you're muted if 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 you're not aware. I can do it fast, I know, I know. fast whenever you're ready. <laughs> We're almost there. It's yeah, going to be super awesome. I'm past my bedtime, Jason. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let me make sure I got everybody on here. Lisa, Conrad, Jimmy, Anda Milton. If 
Fabio Jason. Okay. So we, we're just going to give one to five to each image, right? You have to okay. tell us the position. So say you start with the first one, you tell us, you know, this is fourth, the next is fifth. Got it. Got it. Let's do it. And it's going to be in the order that you see it on the screen. Okay. So you go. Yeah. Cool. So All right. Go ahead and say first one, I would say five. Okay. Uh, and then the fourth one. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, yeah. It, can I can I go uh, uh, random? Uh, yeah, I but you have to tell me that, which image it is then to make sure. I, I'll do it. Uh, okay. So first one is the the last my least fa favorite. Uh, the fourth one is my second least favorite. Uh, which yeah, this one. This, this one, one will be four. Okay. Yeah. So hold on, you did um, it. One, two, three. Four. Okay. I see because I'm doing it in yeah. order down a down a sheet, but okay. Got it. Yeah. Sorry. No, go, okay. Just just going with, with the flow. The second yeah. one would be my third favorite. This one? And yeah. And then I'll I'll be I think I think the third one is my favorite and the, the last one is the second place. Okay. Everybody else Does that make don't, sense? Yeah. Everybody else, don't do it like that. Just give me the number. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, my head's good. <laughs> no, no, I got it. I, I think okay. Jimmy's ready. Ah, uh, Jimmy's ready. Yeah. Jimmy's ready. Yeah, yeah. I go. Jimmy's so, ready. Okay. So number like. So number five is my number one. Just, just tell me. Can you tell me like in the order just, you see them on the screen? What <laughs> number it is for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that would be the easiest. Wait. Okay, so five. Wait, yeah. I don't understand. Five is one, then, right? No, no, yeah. five is the worst. So, five, like, <laughs> so. Can I tell you number one? Number one oh, okay. is so number one is your first so, place down to fifth place. Number so one? number one to five. So what? First, second, third, fourth, fifth place. But starting from the top left. Hang on, hang on. I I think Jimmy might be a bit confused here, but Jason, I I. I'm reasonably certain that I that I know what we're supposed to do. So in order, <laughs> I'll I'll go first so that people can see what we're supposed to do. Assuming I got it right. So good me, call. So in, it's in your order, ranking, in order ranking of, of order one to five. But basically, just look at the images and tell me your first. If your first one is the yep. fourth place image, that's number four. Second one is yeah, your so second place image, number two. So four, two, one, okay. five, three. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's what yeah, I was okay. doing. All right, five, perfect. Five, <laughs> five, five. Yeah. Two, three, yeah, four, okay. and one. Okay. Done. Okay, Easy. Jimmy. Good. I, I, you yeah. weren't. So you weren't confused. That's perfect. You yeah, got yeah. it. So five. Yeah. Five, two, three, uh, four, and yeah. one. All right. I go next. Yes. Four. Two. Yep. One. Five three. Okay. Right. Under. Agree. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, <laughs> three. Five. Four. And one. Jason, he said two, but he pro you probably didn't hear it. I did. Yeah, it was three two five. It was three five. What was it? No, 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 no. no. Uh, sorry. Do it. Let's do it again. Three, three, two, five, four, one. Okay. Perfect. I got it, Fabio. We're gonna vote in these. I we're... need to to say mine. Yeah, like we're gonna vote. It's gonna make it uh, make it more averaged out. You know. All right. So I'm gonna go five, three. One, four, and two. Okay, so let me do mine. I, had, I haven't been able to really look at them. Oh, yeah. You guys feel free to, you know, discuss amongst yourselves. I think um, I, was, I was just thinking it. It's kind of obvious, I think, which ones will be the top three, but the order of those top three is is harder yeah. to pick, because for me, I voted number one to the last one because I feel most comfortable in the that light, and 
whereas the third image here which is much brighter uh has just as much going for it but because it's so bright i i feel personally like i wouldn't look at it for as long as the other image because there's so many details in the other one and it's it's more like balanced and comp in um exposure um but yeah I, I i don't know what order those those three are going to be in but i think you know it was it was pretty pretty clear when we got to those top five okay so i <clears throat> Thank you, Conrad, for that because I was—I <laughs> really had to think about it. Uh, I was—I heard Jeopardy, Jeopardy music in my head. Um, so I, my pick was uh, five, two, four, three, one, um, and we have the results here. Actually, I'm going to throw it up on the screen just yes. so people can see it and believe it that it was real. If I have it up there, I do not. Hold on, I'm just going to move it over. So, dun, dun, dun. I don't think you guys can see it though, right? No, you can't. Nope. But it's fine. No, but no, people, people out there can see it. <clears throat> um, Vance quantum computing. So basically, what we have, uh, the results are: the number five image was the first image. The second image was. Let's see. That's the third one. one. The number, the number four image was the fourth image. Okay. Okay, I'm moving this back over so I can point these out. It's it's better. So, um, this this image is number five. This image number four. The fourth image is uh, number four. The third image is third place. The second image is second place. And the first image is the fifth image on the screen. So congratulations, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> who who was it? So open this that is, image uh, for so, us so we can. So first place is Wyken. Wyken. Yeah. Second place. Oh man, I'm so happy that he won. Nuno Mato Silva it says, but it's Nuno. We know him well. We know Ryan Wyken as well. Third place was which one was Nicolo? Third one. Yeah, Nicolo. We also know. <laughs> it's like a bunch of regulars around here. Um, number four was Vittorio Bonapache, and number five was from Alan Designer 3D. I'm not don't know who this is, so congrats! Congrats, guys! Awesome. Fantastic work! Amazing top five! Yeah, amazing stuff! And I also find it yeah. amazing, and I'm super happy to see that there's still 100 and 15 people watching this um that's amazing yeah wow. uh, i couldn't have asked for anything better today and i appreciate all of you uh joining us and actually staying to the end of this it's been about just exactly two hours we had a great time i don't know does anybody want to yeah. say do we do we want to wrap this up somehow Fabio? i, ju I just want to say that milton came in and he was like light behind him and now it's dark <laughs> night <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, that's right. It took, quite a, it took quite a while, but you know, we knew that that was gonna happen. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Again, you know, thanks everybody for the participation. Under, thanks a lot for putting the work and making the the models. Thanks to your team as well, because I know that they were involved. I wanna thank the judges, uh, Lisa, for lending us your time, thanks Milton, me. Uh, Jimmy, Conrad. Thanks Thank for you. all the hard work and for coordinating the the, the first part uh, on uh, on the Mata Paint website. We're going to go with the next part, but we're gonna make an announcement, and you know we'll do it when our brains are a little bit fresher and also after sober that we have talked to the winners to see how <laughs> we can get them involved into the the next part. But that's the beautiful thing about this challenge is that, you know, the two parts were separated and so people could have done the first. They they can now do the second part. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the sponsors also yeah. for helping us out, making this a little bit more attractive and sexy for those who participated. Thanks a lot to the people who are watching from home who are still watching. And, you know, the funny thing is that 
during the voting, people were like, bravo, Ander, bravo. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, Ander, you voted very well. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I also I, just... I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I just want to say t- t- thank you, guys. Thank you, the sponsors. Thank you. Oh, my, my son came here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, and I want to encourage the people that are watching us. Hello. Say hello, Pedro. Say hello, people. Hello, people. So, Pedro, galera. So, okay. So, just encourage people to 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 participate in this those contests because you know it's an amazing way to to. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> to to use the techniques that in a commercial way we can we can use, you know, it's a way that you can yeah. spread yourself. You can just do it uh, the way you want. So uh, you know, participate in this contest. It's an amazing way to to learn to and just use another techniques, another softwares, another everything. So. Uh, I really like when when the people come to, and go to the contest and you guys to to do this. I know that uh, it's it's not easy, you know. Take time to uh, you know do everything. It's a lot of work, and you guys are congratulations to you to do this for the community and for all all of us. Thank you. Oh, don't thank us. We make so millions doing yeah. this. It's like I know they just I doing it a, for the money. I have an airplane, a private jet. Yeah. I have a Ferrari that goes inside the jet. I have and a we, Wacom pen. We get I, we get bored with all the toys, so we have to do something else, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, but thank my, you. Thank you my furniture smells of mahogany. Oh, <laughs> just look at all those shoes you've got. That's his real vault. My, my right that's his real prize collection. Shoes. I, yeah. I want to say something. That's a I want to say something. I want to say something if I can. Yes. Uh, yes, w- some, something, re- something very interesting in Brazil. Like there are a lot of rich people's ball in here, and and the the little lights you see over there, those are something similar to the to the favelas we have in Rio. But I, I'm like in the in the coast of Rio at the moment, so there's not much of a favela like in the city. But other than that, just want to say thank you guys for inviting me. It was it was a fun. Uh, I, I also like like to participate, judging in contests, and I think it's a great opportunity, um, kind of like a, a fuel to to the need of creation. So if you want to create some new stuff, that's a perfect opportunity. Like Ander said, there's no client involved. So if you want to work with, let's say, matte painting. There are a lot of people that tell me, uh, I work with architecture. When I work with matte painting, I'm like, okay, uh, are you doing some matte paintings? Oh, no, no. I'm waiting for the right opportunity when I'm ready to do matte. No, 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 no. You have to do whatever you want to do. And then maybe after doing like 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 times, somebody's going to actually hire you to do that. So at Life Farm, that's like our trick. That's our marketing trick. If we want to do something new, get a grab a new market. We do that thing first. Like we invest our time and money to do that thing, whatever it is. You want to do a movie, uh, whatever game, whatever AR feature. Like just do it and, and show your clients you can do it. And and contests, great opportunity to do that. So thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you for being here. I want to say that you know Fabio and I want to be game show hosts and this is like our way to break into it. You know, this is like we're starting small and we're going to build up, you know, one day. No. <laughs> um no, but Milton, thank you so much for being here. Uh and thank this is you the to way. everyone this is the else way. as well. This is the way. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. And thanks everybody for watching. I think we said that already. Um we're gonna, we're, like Fabio said, we'll be weekend. back. We're gonna be back on Monday, hopefully, if we can get in touch with all the winners and have a, a little conversation with whoever would like to join us uh, on right back here on the channel. Um, and then we'll be back uh, in a, I guess, in a week from Monday with the next part. Yeah.
I'll be back. Cool. I'll be back. <laughs> guys, good night. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, everybody, you very much. for the great nice. evening. So you guys hang on just for a Cheers. second. And we'll say bye properly. I'm going to stop okay. the stream. Okay. We're signing off. <laughs> See you. Bye, See you. Bye, guys. Hello. Ciao. Are we offline? Yes. Can we talk shit now?